Hey everyone, this is Matt, and in today's video, I'm doing a Master Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel ban list reaction slash how to update your deck reaction. Okay, so a um, few things I want to go over. Uh, first off, um, the Duelist Cup rankings, they still show them as being tallied here. Um, but for those of you who are curious, this is the final number of points that I ended up with. Unfortunately, I didn't have very much time to play. Um, you know, I saw, like, some of the top players, like, got, like, 60-plus thousand points or something. Like, hey, they just had more time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! than I did this last weekend. That's, that's basically what this Duelist Cup came down to. I wish they would just fix the format and, or, their, or for the next one, uh, make it more of an ELO system rather than just, like, oh, just play just whoever has the most raw number of just I don't know uh yeah anyway whatever so let's go to this ban list so oh not missions um we want notifications um true king getting banned good imperial order banned good very empty is banned unnecessary in my opinion Celestial banned, kind of silly, because really they should have just hit Anaconda. Uh, number 75 banned, kind of weird. I mean, I guess like people are saying, oh, it leads into Rongo, but like, okay, just ban Rongo, right? Are there other problem cards that number 75 leads into? I don't know. Um, limited list. Crossout Designator 1 is kind of weird. I feel like they're just doing that because it's at 1 in the OCG. Uh, Parada Prosperity 1 is also kind of silly, unnecessary. Prank Kids Meow Moo to 1 is good, but it should be going to 0. Uh, Fusion Destiny 1 is good, but it should be at... Uh, well, I guess it should be at 1, honestly. Because like, I'd rather... I'd rather they go into the Anaconda play than, hard, than just hard draw this, honestly. Um, Multi-Faker Semi-Limit. So last night I, I, I said this was a weird one. Um, I forgot, folks. Look. Ultra Guys Multifaker is at 3 in the TCG, okay? So when I saw it be semi-limited here, I thought, wait, why are they removing a Multifaker? But then I forgot, wait, Master Duel's ban list has Ultra Guys Multifaker at 1. So this is actually returning one copy of Multifaker. Uh, so now there will be two available. Same with Gazelle. Gazelle uh, is getting a one back. I mean, both of these are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. I just, they just seem like random. Skill Drain 2 is stupid. Uh, just leave it at three. There's plenty of ways to play around it. Uh, like, <laughs> fire f formation tanky to two, also unnecessary. Like, tri brigade is nowhere near, like, the best deck. Night assailant to unlimited, don't care. So, people are asking, oh, skill drain, blah, blah. Like, look at the results of the Duelist Cup, right? The top ten decks or whatever, mostly virtual world slash adventure, uh, ten e synchro, right? Uh, not a single copy of skill drain found in that top ten list. Not a single copy of, uh, what is it, uh, Vanity's Empty is found within that top 10, uh, right. So, it just seems so random that they just would just hit those cards, right. Um, yeah, like, DP was being abused, okay, hit Fusion Destiny, hit Celestial, sure, I guess that's something, right. Uh, VFD being abused, hit that, right. Some of these make sense, but others are just, like, so freaking random and out of, uh, left field. Um, let's see, uh... The only other thing I'll say about this list... So, overall, it's a good list. Um, like, it probably does more good than bad, but, again, it also... Some of these are just, like, way out of left field. Um, where's Verde Anaconda on this list? Where's Hulk Fibrax? Where's Rodon? Not no Nowhere to be found, right? No Scythe to be found. Konami looks at those cards, which, by the way, are, all of which are being abused and still being played, and we're in the top ten of the Duelist Cup right all over the decks right and yet nowhere to be found here konami thinks those cards are okay i guess i'll never understand uh anaconda by the way banned in both tcg and ocg still legal in master duel for some reason halk banned in the ocg likely to be banned in the tcg very soon anyway all right so how do we update our decks um so i'm just gonna go over two decks deck changes i'll start with flanderies because this is like probably the easiest one so Alright, fla so this is my, f I'm not gonna, like, I don't want to make separate deck profile videos. Uh, maybe they'll farm more clicks, but I'm, you know, 
I just think it's unnecessary. Also, there's a small chance that we're going to get new cards um, in, in uh, the end of August slash early September anyway. Like, uh, So I'll probably have to make new deck profile videos for, for uh, Flanderies and possibly Eldritch later anyway. So instead, I'm just going to show the changes. All right, so this is my flu deck. So VFD was a winner cherry's target. Goodbye, no more. Uh, and then we lose two uh, pots of prosperity. Uh, we will literally replace the two pots of prosperity with two pots of extra F, which not as much, not as good as the consistency boost. You know, obviously it has more conflict with uh, winter cherries, but still, you know, still workable. And then uh, the extra deck, what do we replace VFD with? Any any annoying monster we want. Like we can we can just I'm just gonna put in Guardian Chimera. Like it depends on what shows up, right? What monsters are annoying you? Um, maybe Invincible Atlas. Yeah, let's do Invincible Atlas. Sure, why not? Be Trooper Invincible Atlas. Yeah, whatever monster extra deck monster keeps popping up in your games that's really annoying to deal with, I uh, just put that in. Uh, should we still keep Rongo after losing Bamboozling Shadow? Uh. Probably unnecessary, right? Um, let, let's take that out and put in Guardian Chimera. Why not? Um, yeah, because I have been seeing a lot more uh, Despia decks, and Guardian Chimera is a big part of that uh, that deck. Um, I could also put Masquerade. Hold on. Masquerade, that's an UR. Oh, I don't really want to buy that. Yeah, uh, maybe Masquerade instead of Guardian Chimera. It, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, so that's the change of flu. Um... Yeah, everything else pretty much the same. Uh, just a small... They just got a small consistency hit. Uh, not a big deal. And actually, since Crossout is going to 1, the 3 copies of Max C more likely to resolve. <laughs> so, alright. <laughs> I guess, so, Konami ta giveth and Konami taketh away. Alright, let's go to my Eldritch deck. I'm not going to go over Subterra, because uh, pretty much same deck, I think. Alright. All right, so we lose a skill drain, lose an IO. All right, cool. So we have two slots to fill. Uh, for those of you who uh, may not may have not have been following, I also have been uh, playing Sphere Mode over Maxi. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out Maxi and run Sphere Mode. Like, wait, wait, but isn't Maxi better now that uh, Crossout's at one? It's a little better, but they still have two Call By, they still have one Crossout, they still have three Ash. I'd rather just have Sphere Mode at this point. <sighs> like. Stream mode is just a more hilarious card. More like, like, they literally can't counter it, right? It, it will, it will always resolve. Maxi will only sometimes resolve. Uh, yeah, I'd rather just, just have sphere mode. All right, what about these last two slots? Uh, two rivalry warlords. So some of you may have seen this in my uh, deck list video already. So yeah, I still have ne so I, so I will be keeping the needle ceiling here, and then we will have the double rivalry warlords. Vanity's emptiness. We don't care about the card because we never played it because uh, it's not that good. Uh, terrible going second. Uh, going first, it's, it's, it's decent, right? Um, but yeah, rivalry. Yeah, we're just putting in two rivalry. But what about back row clear, right? Wasn't Imperial Order one of the cards that stopped back row hate? Like Lightning Storm Harpies. Yeah, it was. Um, and, in, and honestly, like, I'm kind of just playing it by ear. What, what do I mean by that? So... Play out, you know, go, I'm going to start playing ranked in September again, once, uh, you know, because I'm already Diamond 1, but start playing the game, and see, like, are the three Lord of Heavenly Prison with the th your pot cards to drawing into it, not enough to protect your back row, if you're, like, is that one copy of Imperial Order really making a difference between uh, your back row getting cleared or not? If you feel like, uh, you know, it's harder to deal with back row hate now, back row clear, then yeah, maybe instead of having these two needle ceilings, maybe you can put in two solemn judgments, right? Um, or two starlight roads, right? <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Um, so play it by ear, right? I don't think I need two judgments right now. I felt like the three lords of the heavenly prison with with my pot cards to draw into it is already good enough for me to deal with back row hate. And by the way, you only have to really deal with back row hate going. Uh, first, not really going second. Um, so what? They have one copy of Harpies to your three copies of Lord, right? Or they have one Harpies and, f and three Lightning Storms to your one co three copies of Lord. So you still have a pretty good ratio. Um, and they might not even have Lightning Storm necessarily. So again, if you feel like you're getting hit with back row clear too much, 
go ahead and take out needle, two needle ceilings and put in uh, two um, solemn judgments or two starlight roads. What, wait, what's Starlight Road? Starlight Road is this card right here. Uh, uh, you know, less generic than Judgment, but also pr still pretty good. And actually, uh, <laughs> this card um, can also be countered to, like, Sword Soul Blackout or whatever. Uh, anyway. So, up to you what you want to do. But I think this is a, a solid list. Uh, I'm not too worried about losing one copy of Skildren and IO. Like, IO was just one of those cards where it's like, okay, it's, it's fine. Uh, but 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 I O also shut down my own you know uh, pot cards right like in the TCG Eldritch doesn't have I O and it's fine so people some people are saying oh what about anti spell fragrance anti spell fragrance only good going first I O is also kind of one of those cards which was mostly good going first um, so yeah I don't think anti spell fragrance is necessary uh, yeah I, I think I just rather have two rivalry. Um, and two sphere mode, yeah, this is it. This is the deck list. Um, honestly, you don't like again. I was able to climb without Lich with a greater than eighty percent win rate in the Duelist Cup with no vanity's emptiness. So, oh yeah, I have my third skill drain in IO, but like, okay, well now I have more cards, right? I didn't have needle ceiling when I was climbing, right? Now I do. So, needle ceiling is still a great card. Really good for going second baiting out negates or just clearing the board. Guess what, guys? Which just strike is still at three, and we're running two of them. So, because <laughs> well, of trap trick, we're running four witcher strikes. So, honestly, you, we still have witcher strikes. So, like, I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> there's not that much to be sad about. Like, this, yeah, I would say the third skill drain hit the, the copy was, like, very head-scratching, but whatever. You know, this is fine. <laughs> um... We're gonna be okay. Uh, this should, you should still be able to very, very easily climb the diamond one with with this Eldritch deck. Like it, it was. This was a love tap. Let's let's be honest. It was it was a love tap. All right. Um, anyway, so th those are my takes and my updates to the deck. Uh, yeah. Feel free to comment whatever. Uh, let me know what you thought. What your thoughts are. Uh, like, although I guess I heard most of your thoughts on my late night posts already. But yeah. Anyway. Um, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.